Hey folks, welcome back to Hot Beer Review. Tonight, we've got a good one. This is called The Unresolved Beautification of Inexact Geometry from Burial Beer. Stick around. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give your own professional somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are back to do that once again. Definitely appreciate you checking out this video. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. What are we drinking today, gentlemen? This is a unique one. It's uh, the unresolved beautification of inexact geometry. Okay, that is a mouthful. So, from Burial Beer. Again, they do their great labels, as, as Andrew is showing you and down there below. Mine is cracked, and it did not spew on me. The bottom Andy, you... says, remember... Everything is right. Something it's wrong. It's blurred. Y'all say anything? I don't know. I'll let see my beer. Go in and then I don't see my beer. My beer's in a glass. Yes, yeah, so I'm back at the bottom, bottom in a minute. I'm back with the. Wonderful virtual background that we all love. Why's that, Ben? Uh, the studio was occupied this evening. Mm. So I have to have compete any... for studio time. Uh, studio time. Have you any uh, special guests in your studio? Your current studio? Uh, Jorge is around here somewhere where George the cat is big and orange. So he is behind me. Taking a bath. <laughs> oh, too bad we can't get the audio on that, huh? Yeah, that's not going to happen. So it says everything is right until it is wrong, Andrew. Wow, it has Andrew's name on there? <laughs> this sorcery is that? <laughs> Calling him out. What do you wear? You want to know the first word? No, the... The it is it looked it was all blurred and it looked like one word. Everything is right until it's wrong, and it's not it is it's it with the apostrophe s. Yes. Yeah, because the way mine looked, it looked like with. I can't be right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Aromatic. Ooh, oh. Yeah. Ben's ready to drink. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Ben has to close, hold it close to his face so that it doesn't disappear. Ooh. Guess it's the That's reflection of the glass. I don't know. Hmm. That's yeah, unique. it's all I've had from burial IPAs and a Pilsner. I've had some of their uh, their heavy stouts. Hmm. The unresolved beautification of inexact geometry. Tell us about it. Saison, five and a half percent, twenty three IBUs. This one, it's got a lot of ingredients. Ginger. Green tea, jasmine tea, chrysanthemum, and yuzu pulp. Yep. Yuzu what was that last pulp. one? Yuzu pulp, Y U Z U. You know what yuzu okay. is? Mm -mm. I looked it up. The pond algae? algae? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like, right? That, what the flavor is, <laughs> the flavor profile of pond algae. <laughs> Yuzu is a citrus fruit from East Asia. Looks like 
and sure, it looks like a yellow clementine. The way it grows in tree. Okay. It's rarely eaten. It as just as fruit as a whole. It's used for its zest and uh, rind, to, like lemons are in cooking. Uh, it has a tart flavor. Kind of like a flavor profile is a grapefruit tangerine or grapefruit, excuse me, mandarin orange hybrid. Excuse me. This thing is carbonated. Yeah, like it is carbonation. So it has two types of hops, spalter and Huel melon. And the malts, pills, Vienna, oats, and rye. So as those who have followed us and watched our other burials. They'll know, or if they're just familiar with burial, they have very involved can art and very complex names. And then this is part of their Anno X series, which they did uh, kind of an anniversary a commemorative for all their years, um, the 10 years. So in 2023, they did the NOX series where uh, they commemorated each year that they've been in brewing. And this is NOX year one. So the tasting notes, would you, can you want to give Their it a- The tasting notes are crazy. I mean, they're they're not crazy, but just very fascinating with what they come yeah. up with. There's no and- way that I can- this one, close. I mean, once you read it, or once I, once I read it and tasted it, but once you hear it, citrus spritz, jasmine iced tea, and melon balls. Mm. And I can pick that out. I can get some of that for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so, remember, we, as we discussed on the other burials, the allegories. This allegory for this art and the beer itself is glass full with wonder. Yeah. It's fascinating with the uh, maze going through the center underneath the. Mm -hmm. uh... I wonder if that's the inexact geometry. It's Mm -hmm. interesting if you see what's all in there. There's like all these skeleton arms and hands you've got a pickaxe a hammer a pail and i don't know what type of tool that is on the top but it looks like a blade of some sort there's a scythe yeah a saw saw. (laughs) so and another and an axe regular axe so yeah i don't know if that's blood and water at the bottom I, i don't know it's pretty trippy. I like it. Mm. Makes me thirsty for a this on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Burial Brewing Company out of Asheville, North Carolina, was founded in 2013. And if y'all want more of a rundown, y'all can go watch our Shadow Clock review oh. of it, where I went more in depth on it. So we should be closing in on enough for a reel there, huh? Make a playlist. Yeah. Yeah, we're at this is our fourth or fifth. Yeah. I don't know. That's Ben's deciding there. He's he's the it boy. And there's a couple more that we have. Uh I'm looking up. I forgot to bring it on my phone. Burial uh, um, has a cool little thing on their uh, website where you can create your own name, your beer name, based on your name, uh, the letters in your name, uh, first and last name, and something else. That's what I'm looking up. 
we can put that link down below in the description. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. But that is uh that is my spiel. Well, cool. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Jay, I think you supplied these, right? Um I did, yeah. Have, have you, have, have you had this one? No, I have not. Um this is a four pack and I, I gave the fourth one away. Okay. Save three for us. How generous. Jay's, Jay's giving it away. How about that? Yeah. Wow. All right. Um, I'll I'll jump in and go first. Um, so in full disclosure, I didn't really look at the beer before I got it. So I, I brought out my IPA glass <laughs> because I thought we were drinking another IPA. Uh, because it was for burial, well, right? Burial. Yeah. yeah. So uh, totally ruined the taste, Ben. Oh, totally. I think that, you know, uh I think that completely throws me off here, um, for sure. Um now, I think it's got an interesting flavor. I think it's it, it's a lot. Um, it's a lot to try to figure out. And it's one of those beers, I think, you know, we, we get them every once in a while where, you know, there's not necessarily just one flavor that seems to rule it. it, it it's like every time you sip it, you can kind of peel, you know, another layer of the onion back and and get something different out of it. Um, so it's fun in that sense. I think it's, uh, I mean, it's a tasty beer, but I mean, I can definitely take a sip and get ginger out of it. I can take a sip and get what is likely that fruit peel, you know, just a small touch of, you know, not really bitter, but just a small touch of what you would get from a, uh, an orange peel or a grapefruit peel or, you know, something in between, uh, as you described Andy. Um, so all in all, it, it, it's a really light nice beer um so i think uh this one's this one's interesting and fun um definitely would drink it again uh would drink you know would drink it over and over i'm gonna give it seven and a half i think it's uh i think it's good i found you think the, um, on their website what's your <laughs> burial beer name i thought this was entertaining i want to find this out um so take the first letter of your first name is the first part second part is your birth month and then the third part is the last letter of your last name so that said mine would be abstracted wretchedness in the storm of sorrow that carried us home I, I don't think that describes a beer of yours. I think that that's just you. I mean, that's just perfectly, just perfectly. It's like, yeah, it's like astrology. <laughs> it's my my horoscope here. Yeah, so, that's funny. Abstracted wretchedness in the storm of sorrow that carried us home. Sounds about right. All right, Ben. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do all of this now. Yes, yes, we are. My review, are my you, rating won't come out you, until we go through. Are, you, are okay. you using his first real name or his? Ooh. We can go both. So uh, your common name. No, we can't go both. Just do one. Yeah, yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, this is a word I've never come across. Lugubrious. L U G U B R I O U S. Well, I'm gonna have to look that one up. Lugubrious anguish, pining endlessly for malevolent amnesty. <laughs> okay. So what? It's the first initial of your first name. Yeah, that's definitely your a double birth or triple month. IPA. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the third one? The last letter the of last your last name. name. Last letter of your last name. Jay, the you know, your, your common your common name too is your name. Precarious desolation between rationality and hysteria. <laughs> that sounds about right. So there's no reason to do both of ours because our our switch right. Yeah. Yeah, but they have different birth months. That's true. 
yeah, you have different birth months. Your last name ends, and so. Yeah, that's all right. That's cool. Do you want me to rate this? I'll, uh, my turn now. I had asked Andy to go, and he. I said before <laughs> on the internet, I mean, we're going to play the the fun game. You know, the fun. I uh, as you said, Ben. Each sip, you can deconstruct this thing, and uh, that air uh, you get that aromatics in aftertaste that lingers, and that you can kind of detect the jasmine. I'm guessing chrysanthemum. I'm not used to drinking flowers. Um, but it's got that the tart like it described, but then that a little bit of that bitter peel rind of the fruit. I um I don't know what I was expecting out of this. I, I think I honestly was expecting something a little more sweet fruity versus tart bitter. Uh for my for my liking, I mean, it, it's been entertaining trying to figure it out, but just for sitting down to enjoy a beer, I think it's a little too complex for me. And um, yeah, this is one I'd, I'd probably just pass over again. But I appreciate the, the effort that went into it. I'm I'm going to give this one a six and a half. Just it's got that a little too much for me. There's a word for That's that. Shame. Well, nope. Lugubrious. Lugubrious. <laughs> That's a shame, Andy, because I really like I, this beer. I know. It's just, uh, I, I guess I'm a simpleton. It, uh, no, you're not a simpleton at all. You just, when, when you have lots of complexities, it, it confuses you. And the big thing with, with your expectations of it, if you opened it and or were reading it and expecting it to be sweet versus... What you got out of it makes sense. I was expecting an IPA, so so <laughs> um, yeah. So um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I think it's a a good one. I like the complexity and dissecting it each time. I do. I get the green tea. I get the the ginger. I can get the jasmine. Uh, even that chrysanthemum. Um, so um, it's refreshing to me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to rate it an 8.0. Um, it's not something I would sit here and drink six or eight of, but maybe a couple. Lugubrious, if y'all were wondering. Looking or sounding sad and dismal? Ben. That's me, Dennis. That is going to be a 7.3 for the unresolved beautification of inexact geometry from Burial Beer Company. Um, definitely not an IPA. Uh, definitely something else. Uh, so uh, don't bring your IPA glass on this one like I did, like I made that mistake. Um, but one that uh, is very, very interesting, has a lot going on. And I think we've had a good time trying to figure out what that is. With that, be sure to like, subscribe, cheers to that notification bell. Check us out on all the social media links down below in the description. Come say hey in our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. If you have not done so, we would love to see you there and would love for you to join the chat about beer and beer and other stuff. Lastly, if you have any interest in the Hopped Up Beer Review merch, we've got shirts, we've got koozies, we've got glasses. That's maybe a couple other things. Go check that out. The link below. Grab you something. For Andy in the attic and Jay, I am in. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.